I'm the owner of Somnio International Medical Holidays. I am departing for Phuket today, which is pretty exciting, with the October 2013 group tour. Um, on this trip, I am having a procedure done myself, so I am going to be having breast revision surgery, which is the replacement of implants. So please follow my journey. I will be documenting it daily, um, and it will be up on our Facebook page and also our YouTube page. Um, it's a great journey for people that may be looking at upgrading their implants to be bigger or they've had their implants in for 10 years and they're looking at um, obviously replacing them. So I look forward to sharing with you um, my journey. Thanks. arrived to Phuket um, we arrived last night at 2 a.m. Um, to the hotel um, Thai time so it was about 5 a.m. Um, Australian time so needless to say we have uh, 19 very tired ladies um, my pickup today is at 7 30 to go in and see Dr. Sangwan I am just about to go downstairs just doing the last of what I need to do so I've packed my little overnight bag I've got my compression bras I've taken my passport I've filled in my um the hospital registration so I'm all sorted there um, I have taken a little bit of Thai bark with me just in case I want to order something off the menu in my room because hospital food isn't always up to scratch as we all know so it's no different here um, I have to take off all my wake up which I've done so no moisturizer no anything my jewelry is about to come off um, so I'm going to leave that here in the in the safe there's no use me taking it to the hospital um, they do have a safe at the hospital that you can use but I'll just leave my stuff here so my consultation is with Dr. Sangwan at 8 o'clock. My assumption is I'm going to be having surgery around about hopefully 9, maybe 10 o'clock. So um, get in and hopefully get out. So I will be looking at possibly two nights stay in the hospital. But I'll let you know a bit later on after I've had that consultation with Dr. Sangwan um, what he says. So I'll see you soon.
remove all. We will remove the nail polish first. Okay, post-surgery. I am feeling a bit sore, but pretty good. I've been sleeping a lot, hence why I haven't checked in a little bit earlier. It's been, it's now 9.30 the following day. Um, my surgery, as far as I know, has gone to plan. My surgeon hasn't come to see me yet. He should be here in the next hour or so. Um, whereas he'll come and take these bandages off, you can see. And we should go into my compression bra, which I'm looking forward to because um, overnight the swelling has gone down so these bandages are getting a little bit loose on me instead of being really really tight so I am I am looking forward to um, getting the bra on and having a little bit more uh, support um, so I ended up with 500 cc's um, the old implants are over here so I'll show you those as well here's my old ones not what I thought I had but um, so they're 400s and so I've replaced those with uh, Mentor, um, like the Gummy Bear Textured Implants, 500cc's. So yeah, I feel pretty good. I was up probably an hour after surgery going to the toilet. Um, the nurses come in here almost every hour, I'm surprised they haven't come in while I'm doing this. Um, and check our OBS and um, just make sure we're okay and just offered to shower me, which I kind of politely declined. Um, yeah, so I will check in again. I don't know if I'm going to be discharged today, usually with the revision surgery it is a two night stay. but. I have, um, the drip was taken out yesterday, so I didn't need that. Um, so I have no pain relief, um, just some uh, informal tablet at the moment. And all my antibiotics and things like that just get given to me. Um, and by little cups, by the nurses. So yeah, I don't know, I've got no drains as well, if you didn't notice that. No drains were used um, for my surgery, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm good to go. It stopped raining here in Phuket, so time to sunbake. Hi, I'm back. So Dr. Sungwan has just come to see me. Um, he's very happy with the result, as am I. Um, so I've now got my compression garment on. Um, so I use a design Veronique compression garment. This one's um, for a lift. So we have other ones that are st for standard breast augmentation. Um, because I was having revision surgery, I actually opted for the more expensive one, but you don't have to. Um, so he's really, really happy with the results. Um, in the end, the 400s came out quite easily. 
and the 500s, because the pocket was a little bit too big for the 400s um, from a previous surgery, the 500 um, implants actually fit in there perfectly. So he hasn't had to stretch very much at all, he said, so it was actually less complicated than he thought it was going to be. So I'm really, really happy about that because I, I'm in a little bit of pain, but nothing to complain about, I guess. Um, he's also had to do a, um, I've moved my one of my nipples up a little bit um, on this side. Um, it was at two centimetres below the other one. So I wanted um, the alignment back. So he's actually done a donut lift on one side. So that's just removing um, and moving up the nipple just about two centimetres. So they're all in alignment again now. So pretty much I am being discharged. I'm just going to get my medication. And I've had a shower, so I feel much better. Um, and go back to the hotel. I'll could come back here on the 15th, which is Tuesday. So another six days time where he'll have a check of it and maybe take my stitches out if they're good to go. Uh, but I should see him about another two, maybe three times before I head home. So I will check in and let you know how my recovery is going soon. Cheers. Hello, it is day seven post-surgery. I thought I'd better give you an update. I kind of went, I don't know where I went over the last few days. I've actually been really busy. My recovery has been amazing. I've had no problems, so really nothing to report. Um, the only discomfort I've had really is sleeping at night time, but that's subsided now. So uh, last night was the very first night that I actually slept on my side. So that was pretty cool waking up and, and being in no pain at all, but waking up on your side was a bit freaky. But yeah, so that was sleep number six and I'm now on my side. Um, everything else is going swimmingly. Um, my ritual pretty much every day is getting up and going to breakfast, maybe going and laying by the pool for a little bit, going for a walk around and spending money, which isn't always good, but that's just what you do. Um, but yeah, so taking out the sights and sounds obviously in Thailand. The group is going really, really well. There's um, 20 um, group travelers here, plus there's probably about another 10 anytime travelers as well. So we've been having massive family dinners at night time and, and coming together, which has been really good and um, the camaraderie and, and everyone obviously talking to each other. And, and if you've saw in the left um, boob then, and someone else is, it makes you kind of feel a little bit better that you're not the only one. So yeah, it's been really good. Um, today is the day though that I'm back off to the hospital. I'm having my stitches removed from underneath my breast fold. That's where the incision was. So I have taken a before picture with the stitches still in there so you can actually see how clean that line is. And I'll take another picture um, when the stitches come out so you can see that as well. But um, I will document that. So we're off to the hospital and I will chat to you all soon. Cheers, bye. Okay, so stitches are now removed. I ended up seeing Dr. Narapon to get this, uh, the stitches removed because Dr. Sangwan unfortunately is in Japan. Uh, he did advise me of it, but I forgot. So um, Dr. Narapon and the nurses removed my stitches yesterday. It probably took about 15 minutes for them to take them out. Uh, it did sting a little bit, nothing major after surgery. It was pretty easy and it's really, really quick. So um, please don't be nervous about it. Um, I know a lot of girls do get nervous, so it's nothing to worry about. It just stings a little bit, but they do it really, really quick and they're very, very gentle. Um, everyone will tell you that. So I'm going back to seeing Dr. Sangwan on Saturday just for one more um, follow-up consult before I head home. Um, Dr. Narapon has put me in waterproof bandages again so I can have a shower. Um, I'm not allowed to swim and I'm definitely not allowed to go in that water over at the beach. So the waterproof bandages are purely so that I can shower. I've been jumping in the water in the pool but just obviously to my waist just to cool down because it's pretty warm out there. Um, there's something that I didn't let you know in one of my earlier vlogs. You probably saw me have my consult with Dr. Sangwan uh, that went really, really quickly. So I just want to um, let you know that I actually had a consult with Dr. Sangwan in March this year. So that consult went for about, oh gosh, 30, 40 minutes. Um, and that was, we worked out the game plan then. So this one was pretty much just a follow-up consult with him again, which is why it was really, really quick um, in that initial first part. So 
Um, usually consults do go for 30 minutes, maybe up to an hour and a half, depending on how many questions that you guys might have. So please don't don't look look at my consult. That was really brief because I'd already had one in March. Um, something else, I'm into an, in another compression bra. If you haven't noticed, it's um, a Black Yasmina that Somnio does supply. So this one retails for about $76. Um, it's definitely worth the investment because you are going to be in it from anywhere I don't know it depends on your surgeon but four to sometimes three months some of the girls have to stay in their compression garments um, I actually don't really need to wear it but I, it's a bit of a safety blanket for me at the moment and I do feel a bit more comfortable having it on but um, I can pretty much go into my normal bras as long as they're not under wire bras um, but I want to have, wear this so I'm going to so but Dr. Someone has um, already said that it's fine to put this on but I'm good to go into my uh, my bras I don't have to massage uh, which is um, good as well so I um, had pretty pretty good surgery um, out with the old in with the new so um, but yeah I'm going back there on Saturday so I'll let you know how everything goes with that before I head home uh, yeah so I hope that gives you guys everything you need for now I will speak to you soon bye Good morning, it is really early here, it's 6.30 in the morning. Um, I got to see Dr. Sangwan yesterday, um, sorry I didn't check in, just got tied up with um, things. Um, so he's really happy with everything, he's checked all my measurements. Um, um, I don't think April's mentioned in the first video, but I actually had a donut lift on my right breast, so it was a two centimetre drop. Um, so he's actually been able to bring that up uh, one and a half centimetres without actually having to do a full lift. Um, so I'm really, really happy with that. Um, he's checked all my incision marks, um, obviously where the implants have gone in because it's been stitched off. Um, they are really good and he's really happy with it. So I still can't wear an underwire bra because that will actually irritate it. Um, he's told me not to sleep on my side or my belly. Um, so now last night I've propped two pillows either side of me to kind of stop me rolling over because I keep waking up on my side. So just for another couple of weeks, he said until everything settles. Um, I just still don't have to massage and I actually don't really need to wear a compression garment. However, none of my bras fit me so I'm going to start in, I'm on the white one again today. Um, I do recommend actually that you buy two compression garments um, because you do live in them and then it's really hot here and you do sweat so it's pretty gross. So you can, you can definitely afford to get two compression garments and I do recommend it. Um, so today it's raining if you can't hear it behind me. Um, it's a bit overcast and pretty blah. Um, so I'm just going to kind of chill out today. I wanted to recap my bag. We're off to the markets tonight. Um, we've been quite busy at night time. During the days are really hot so at night time we've been going. We went to um, Simon Cabaret, Fantasy. We went on the Sunset Cruise Junk Boat which is what Somnio does every group tour um, as a finale kind of dinner. So we went on that last night so it was absolutely beautiful, perfect weather. Um, and so yeah, so today's not going to be anything but tonight night market. So I might actually try and make some room in my suitcase to get some more clothes. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, so yeah, anyway, everything's going well, the recovery. All the girls here, I should let you know about those. That um, All the go girls here are doing really well. We have one girl going back to the hospital today. Um, she's just a little bit concerned about one of her breasts, but um, there's no swelling or anything like that, but it's just a precaution. So we'll take her back into the hospital today and make sure that she's okay. Uh, but anything other than that, I'm on a plane tomorrow. So I'll check in at the airport and then I shall check in when I get back home. Oh, my goodness, it's gone so quick. Um, all right, well, thanks for following me so far and I will speak to you soon. Cheers.